Hey guys, happy social media recap time. I've got four updates for you. Two for your favorite social networks and two things about two apps that you already use but two more reasons to love them. So first up is now Twitter has released a mute button. Uh, kind of like on Facebook when you can hide people from your newsfeed and not unfriend them or unfollow them. It's the same thing. You can mute them. If you're on your smartphone, Android, or iOS, you just in the lower right, you click the More tab, and you'll be able to unmute them. This way their tweets aren't in your newsfeed, although they can still interact with you, and they won't know that, you're, that you've muted them. I'm not really sure. I just unfollow people. I don't really care when you know their tweets are too much. But for those of you who don't want to hurt anybody's feelings, this might be great for you. Uh, next up is Facebook has released some more insights for their advertisers. The really three new ones are that now you can search by job status, um, position, and household income. So just those are what LinkedIn has had for a while for advertisers, but just another way to really target down to your niche audience on Facebook. So if you're really looking to show your boss some ROI for your Facebook ads, you know, Targeting as much as you can to your exact target audience will be great. So that should be a great addition for you. Uh, first app is Foursquare. They have announced that they are going to split their app in two. One is going to be the old Foursquare. And it's going to get redesigned completely. And the other one is called Swarm. And I just got access to it yesterday. The new Foursquare is going to be more like Yelp. You won't be able to check in. It's just going to recommend cool places, um, I think, based on your friend's activity. But they're rebuilding it, so I'm not sure. Swarm is allowing you to check in um, and you can see all of your friends activity as well as see about some new uh, nearby places and things like that. This is what, and I, it's going to be hard for you to see, but this is a new swarm. If you can see there. And you can search and follow. There's a news feed option. Let me just show you real quick. If you can see it. I don't know about you, but can you tell that the type is so much bigger on Swarm than on Foursquare's app? Because sometimes the Foursquare app, I'm like this, trying to read what my friends are doing. So it's kind of cool that they at least increase the font size. And I'm not that blind. So um, Next up is Evernote. Evernote has partnered with LinkedIn. Now if you have an Evernote account, which I do because I Evernote like saves my life, um, you can take a picture of a business card by using the Evernote app and it will scan it in and save all the information so you can have all your contacts digitally. This is the answer to everybody's prayer after you go to a conference. You come back with a million business cards and some people have those scanners that you can scan in but I used to use those and it doesn't get all the information accurately. I've entered five business cards with Evernote and everything has been perfect. So definitely check it out. Um, if you're already an Evernote user and you link your LinkedIn account to Evernote, they give you one free year of um, using the business functionality. So that's all I got for you today. I hope you have a fabulous weekend, and I'll see you next Friday.